another episode of Edible Art Wonderland. Thank you for tuning in on Cakeflix TV with me today. I'm Vera from Vera Craft Malaysia. We conduct cake decorating workshops internationally and also have our online classes as well. And today's episode, we'll be having fun together to finish this two-tier buttercream um, under the sea team cake. You'll be joining me and see how we finish this cake with lots of different types of um, underwater corals, succulents, anemone. We'll be making seaweeds and starfish as well. Super fun and lots of detailed piping to work with. We'll be doing all the piping directly on the cake. I promise it's not very difficult, but definitely we need to add in practice. Lots of patience and patience as well. And you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll have fun making this like how I do. Yeah, so the recipe that I'm using today, it's on Viracraft Facebook page. Please find them in the photo album. It's an eggless simple buttercream recipe, easy for beginners to start with. Of course, if you already know how to make other types of buttercream, you may always stick to your preferred and favorite buttercream recipe because the skills and techniques that I'm using today is suitable for any types of buttercream. So I hope you also have fun joining me today. If you have any question, please drop them at the message. I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. If I do miss your question or message, you may also reach me out at Viracraft Facebook page or Instagram. And you also can drop me an email as well, okay? So now, let's get started! So before we start, let me talk you through how to create this beautiful watercolor effect with this under the sea theme. We will start by using three different tones of blue. So like three different tones of blue, they are made out from um, a mixture of Chef Master Royal Blue and mix them with Baby Blue from Progel by Rainbow Dust. Okay, so using a mixture of them to create three different tones of blue and we apply the same technique that we used on our last episode to create this watercolor effect. Okay, so if you miss out the last week's episode, you may still watch the replay on Cakeflix TV official Facebook page Find Edible Art Wonderland, it's an episode 3 for last week one and see how we create this watercolor effect and create the clean edges for this buttercream cake coating, okay? And also, if you wonder how I create this super dark navy blue color, there's two methods to do it. One is the basic simple way where you add a lot of color in it. The two, it's my favorite one, my temperature method, where we play around with temperature to create a darker tone and to achieve dark buttercream colors. So that is in my first episode of Edible Art Wonderland where we learn how to achieve this dark coloring using my temperature method. And now, without further ado, let's start making this underwater plants by starting with piping seaweeds. Okay, so now for the seaweed piping, we will be using this number 352 of a leaf piping now. This is the Korea one. I colored our buttercream into a dark green color. It's a local trans brand, a Malaysia brand. But of course, you can use any brand as long as it's a green color. And you can also apply my um, temperature method to make it like a darker green like this. And then we'll pipe directly onto the cake. So the angle to pipe our seaweed is using both like top and bottom like this. This direction onto your cake. Okay, like this. So not sideways like this. Okay, like this. And then you just want to squeeze and move upwards okay there you go this is one seaweed and always clean your piping tip as you go and then repeat the same thing just squeeze and move upwards like this Still clean my piping tip again and repeat the same thing. Another one here. Okay. The important thing that you want to take care of is to go as close as possible to your cake, like stick to the base, to the cake coating as 
close as you can so that each of your piping like sticks towards the cake coating remember the cake coating must be in room temperature means you don't chill the cake coating overnight before you do this leave the cake in room temperature so it's soft and it can stick to any piping that you are piping on top of it okay so just keep adding you see different different heights and different angle i think that's really pretty so this is like what how i do it freehand i'll show you on the other side here where we can do it with uh, some guidelines so now we have another method is to have some guideline using a sketch so use a toothpick you can randomly draw some sketch like just so you know where you can go which one is taller which one is shorter like this you can see the sketch clearly and then same position for your piping tip follow your lines and squeeze and move as you go squeeze and stop where you stop squeeze and move okay and one more short one here there you go and also clean your piping tip so yeah we have two types here one is to do it with free hand one is if you are not very confident of doing it free hand you can do a sketch first and then just follow your sketch to pipe the lines like a longer one or a shorter one like this okay so i really love how it goes and remember it's okay if you realize that when you pipe and you move slowly the leaf actually like jiggle 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 around it actually looks more natural like the um the seaweed under the, under the water right yay so next okay the next one we will work on is this purple coral up here if you realize the thing that i choose first to work with is the one that's leaning backwards means the one that's sticking on the cake first such as the purple coral later we will work on this orange coral the seaweeds all of this first the succulents and this anemone that's in front and the stones other corals that's sitting in front here will do them last okay so next one we will start with the purple coral i'll put it here so same thing we color our buttercream using purple coloring i'm using this local flavor my flavor violet color it's also a gel food coloring you can use any brand remember and this tip number is tip number 24 of Korea piping tip okay and then you may also do freehand if you are confident enough or you can also do the same thing use a toothpick to sketch it first it's like a branches splitting into a few directions few angles something like this and now we will pipe it on and to to help yourself like to hold this piping bag firmly you can always support your hand at the front of the piping bag okay so i hold it for hold the bag firmly and then with a support in front so i can just squeeze and this will help minimize move like shake shaking movement of your hands and there you go see this always tighten your back as you go and then continue follow the second sketch that i've drawn with the toothpick another line squeeze and move at the same time and also go as close to the cake as you can like you see touching already the blue bits of the cake coating and down go this is the base of the coral and then what we want to do next is to put on some details where you do like a squeeze and pull movement squeeze and pull movement squeeze and pull squeeze and pull okay just repeat the squeeze and pull movement so we are adding some sharp details on this purple coral
Okay, so this is the first layer. Of course, to make it like more in depth, more real, we can add a few overlapping layers. So usually I do that freehand, just like adding on top of the layers. And maybe another here on top of the other layers. Okay, then don't forget to add on the spiky effect on them same thing squeeze and pull squeeze and pull so we squeeze and pull and let go of the strength all at the same time okay so we create a sharp sharp edge there you go so now you have like a two layer coral sometimes i do it three but this is just to show you how and now we have done with our first purple coral Yay, we have done with this purple coral and the seaweed piping. So now we'll take a short break and come back. I'll show you how to do the orange, a smaller coral, and this beautiful and it looks complicated, right? The another type of underwater anemone. So don't walk away, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. I'm from Borneo Island and are well known for my buttercream cakes Especially floral cakes And I enjoy cake pan things too To check out more of my creations, kindly visit Viracraft Facebook page or Instagram If you love flowers, art, and love eating cakes like I do Join me internationally for my cake decorating hands-on workshops and online classes. Also, don't miss out our show Edible Art Wonderland on Cakeflix TV. Don't be shy to drop me an email for any workshop inquiries. Welcome back to our Edible Art Wonderland. Let's continue with the underwater piping. Yay! And here, the next one we will make is this um, orange coral. Okay? It's similar to this one, like very similar, just a smaller version. Let me find a spot for this cute bit, maybe in here. So, I use buttercream and color them in trans brand peach color okay and also play a lot with the temperature method to create like a darker skin a darker peach and then without any piping tip just cut into like a tiny hole like one or yeah i think one to two millimeters if you're not confident using just raw piping bag like this you can of course use piping tip number zero or piping tip number one okay same thing, this time I'll do it freehand. It's a small coral, so we just squeeze while touching the base of the cake coating. Squeeze down the second one and split up from here. Another one there, split up from here. Another one up here. Okay. And I would like to split up from here. Okay. It's definitely fine if you find your hands like wiggly, shaky. Don't worry. It's under the sea. There's movement in there. So it's fine. Okay. So just make like the first pattern that you like. If you're happy with it already, then we can add details on it where we squeeze and pull at the same time. Okay, it's a small, small spiky dot. Squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull.
There we go. That's the first layer. You can keep it that way. Or if you want to overlap them, you also can. I'll do an example now, like overlapping them. In my piping tea and then add details. And there we go, another orange coral done. Is it fun? It's pretty simple, right? Okay, let's move on next. Okay, so next we'll be making this. The most complicated one I think for today is this underwater anemone. Okay, it's pretty fancy, I would say. We will need three piping bags to make them. The first one it's tip number five okay it's like a round one a round piping tip tip number five and in egg yellow color so color this buttercream in egg yellow and then the second one it's tip 1.5 or 1 or 0 it doesn't matter it's just a small round tip and with original buttercream means without any coloring just white color and then the third one is the exact same piping bag that we was we were using just now this orange color one the one that we use for the um orange um corals okay without any piping tip or if you want tip number zero also can okay now we will start by using the yellow one okay First thing we will need to squeeze is a base going round and round and round A few rounds then create something that looks like this With a deep hole in the center See? Next We will need our white color This one Okay To create sharp um, petals so squeeze around them like squeeze and pull squeeze and pull okay. squeeze a little bit uh, for about one second so that it gets fatter at the bottom and then you pull to create like a sharp sharper end so I squeeze to create a fatter bottom and pull squeeze and pull okay can you see this and another angle, show you like this Squeeze until it's fat at the bottom, then you pull Squeeze until it's fat at the bottom, then we pull Okay, same thing to here One round around the base that we just created Okay and then we want to cover up the back part of it like here around here we want to cover them up as well so we don't want to see too much of the base coloring want to cover this anemone around okay can see properly let me stand up into it so you can see them as well Move it up. So squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull, squeeze and pull, and keep repeating. Okay, this angle here, squeeze and pull. Okay, just covering the back part of it so it looks more pretty when you see from this side. There 
there you go so we have like one spiky little thing around here okay and then the last bit it's the orange one this orangey thing we just want to pull from inside out so from inside squeeze until the outside and leave it there Okay, squeeze and out squeeze and out from the inner part of it squeeze all the way out Just as easy as that, isn't that cute? <laughs> you can make this bigger by creating a bigger base or just leave it that small, then you create a small one. Right? This is one type of the um, underwater anemone. Um, super cute. They have in few different colors like green, pink, purple, a few different colors. And next, we will be doing, let me see. Next one, we make this one, the another kind of sea succulents. Okay, this one is pretty easy, easier than just now the one that we did. We need it in like green color, so I just color this with a bit of green and a tiny dash of egg yellow, and it's tip number five. So same thing as the round one that we used earlier. Okay, so let's do one next to this friend here. Okay, so first thing first, we want a base. So just away from away from the base, then we create another base. Squeeze. This is like a round thing, a round round thing, a round ball shape. And then we want to start from the base, squeeze and pull outwards to create like. A worms, <laughs> a tiny thing that's popping up, and another one, and a lot of them. Yes, and one thing we want to try to do is doing different direction. When I miss different direction, let me show you from the front. See, I will do one of this like pointing here, the other one maybe pointing here. Okay, the other one will be pointing upwards and so and so so that they actually looks like they are shaking around moving around with the sea with the sea movement there you go okay this is one easy one you can do a bigger one by creating a bigger base or a smaller one Let's do another one here just to show you another quick one. The only thing makes it different is to create it at different angle. Okay, like up and down, left and right. Like random area right you see like i'm doing one up here one at the side one on this side like just random don't forget the back part as well okay because when you turn around the cake you get to see the bottom as well so don't forget that part and there we go we got two of them ready if you remember them take, take note of them down but anyway you can always watch our replay on this so let's move on to the next one. I also have another pretty coral over here. It's made of dark purple. So I'm using the same violet color that I've used just now for this um, purple. Just that I apply my temperature method to make it a darker purple color. Okay, and this piping tip number is tip number 101. It's like a water drop color, uh, shape. So the fatter part. It's the bottom part, okay? The thinner and sharper part is at the top. So, dark purple color. 
and a coral so let's make this fun coral so next to this friend here squeeze a globe of cream like squeeze a base so we always start with a base so that we can walk on the base something like what we do for this green friend over here and then the piping tip the 101 okay so putting on top of the base and when we squeeze we do a shaky movement okay so i squeeze and i shake left and right left and right when i move around see creating something like this i repeat again at the other angle squeeze left and right left and right there you go and another angle left and right and just repeat like all different directions it doesn't have to be the same direction it's coral anyway it's, it's like just meant to be wavy and shaky from different direction and there we go and so clean your piping tip always before you want to start another one or as you go you can also keep cleaning your piping tip okay so this is our one coral we can make another one here just to show you another one one more time a quick one squeeze okay i just keep moving There you go, easy peasy. Okay, so now let's add some rocks around our corals. The buttercream that we'll be using is this buttercream. It's grey buttercream colored using a little bit of black gel coloring, just a dash of it, okay? And then we did not add any piping tip to the piping bag, just cut off the tip of the piping bag, like cut off around three to four millimeters and then i use it without a piping tip okay then tighten your bag when you hold it and then to squeeze like to pipe a rock on you need to leave away from your cake board so i'll show you on the side maybe it's easier so i did not touch my cake board away from my cake board okay and then we squeeze like a round shape continue squeezing and let go of your strength and move away there is our first rock created and then let's do a second one next to it just squeeze so the more pressure you put the bigger your rock will be let go of strength and remove okay there's another one out here a smaller one here and another smaller two here same movement away from the board squeeze until it touches the base continue squeezing let go of your strength and remove see so now we have a few rocks around let's make some more yay so now we have all the stones the corals the circle and anemone all pipe and ready it's time for another break now but don't walk away because when i'm back we'll be making this cute starfish so don't walk away
Welcome back to Eddie World Art Wonderland. Let's continue in finishing our project. Okay, so now my favorite part, the starfish. So I I use a toothpick to help myself and guide us to draw like a five petal like a star. So like the first one, the second one, third, fourth, and five. Something like this. Okay, like a five petal. And then we are using tip number five. This yellow, egg yellow piping tip, exactly the same that we used for this anemone that we met earlier. Okay, tip number five. So, following where we have met our sketch on just now earlier, squeeze and pipe. First, this is the first sketch of our starfish. Second thing that you want to do, because starfish aren't this skinny, right? They look more like a star instead of like five lines around, like 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 splitting up. So the second thing we want to do is add on more details by adding a second layer onto what we have created the first one. See, like this. So next to the first petal. Add the second one next to it. Add a second one. So we widen the width of each hand, hand or legs. <laughs> and there you go. And then the center part, squeeze like a round ball in the center part. Like this. So you see, if you see from the side, you can see the center part is like popping up. So now we want to work on the details of this starfish. Every time before we continue, remember to clean, like wipe off the piping tip and continue. We want to add sp like spikes on the starfish, something like what we did with this orange coral here. Just that we use the same piping tip, okay? And we don't want a huge one, we just want small spikies around. So just a tiny string, squeeze and pull, like a, a small see the squeeze and pull movement. Squeeze and pull movement, a small squeeze and pull movement. Okay, one straight line following your stars. There we go. And then the center part, we want to have more spiky, spiky thing. So follow the round bow of the center starfish. Add more squeeze and pull movement to create like lots of different details and effects. Just can you see? It? Yay! And this is our starfish already. Isn't that cute? So now the last detail that we want to add on this cake is to add on a school of fishes around. So let me show you somehow. Uh, I'm using the dark blue color, the same color that we use for this kit coating here because it's kind of like a hidden, a far away school of fishes that we don't see them clearly, okay? So it should be small. Make it like a fish, a tiny fish shape, like those that we draw when we are in like primary school. <laughs> As tiny tiny fish a fill around together like the second one okay and then maybe one more smaller one so I have like three fishes here okay so this is only three so in order to make it looks and feels like there's like school of fishes like lots of them together swimming around together we can add small dashes like this okay just small dashes around here we go right because the idea is like it's very far away so we can see them clearly there you go our school of fishes and we need to add some bubbles because they're still 
for the bubble part, I'm using this, the second blue color that we used to cut the cake coating earlier. And without any piping tip, I just cut like a 1 to 2 millimeter hole on the piping bag and just add tiny dots using blue, the lighter blue. The reason that I'm using blue instead of white it's because it's very far away so the idea is like you don't see them very obviously so just using a blue creating dot lines like this small tiny bit dots and yes these are all the details that makes a cake looks delicate okay like using the blue and the same thing you can do for the starfish but instead of blue we use the white one because the starfish is just right next to us, right? Like flopping around here. So for the starfish, using the white one, make the bigger dots because it's closer to us. And we do bigger dots on them. And the last one is just more bubbles around our seaweed as well. And the bottom one. Okay. Remember, they should have different sizes, like a bigger one, a smaller one, and they should have a movement and not straight up, like not a straight line up, okay? There you go! So the, um, those are just the extra details that we will add to create a different contrast color. They actually lightens up like all the details and I think it adds more contrast to our color scheme as well, right? So this is done for our bottom part of our under the sea. So now we have completed the bottom tier together by learning different types of coral piping, underwater, succulent and anemone. I will move on now to finish this cake off by adding more on the top tier here.
done with the cake for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as me. And if you do recreate or replicate this cake at home, remember to hashtag Edible Art Wonderland. I would love to see them. And now before you go, a quick shout out for next episode. On the next episode, we will be having fun with embroidery butter cream piping. We'll work on a two-tier cake again and start with four basic embroidering piping skills that can be used to apply onto any embroidery design on the cake. So just with four basic embroidering piping, we will then finish off the cake together by piping them directly onto the cake. So if you are obsessed with embroidering stitch crafts or buttercream art, you wouldn't want to miss our next episode of Edible Up Wonderland. So I'll see you there!